Apparently, ladies made a list a while ago about the types of men to not date and men that aren't in a position to be trying to date in the first place. And there are a few valid points on this list that I agree with, which we'll get into. But first, I'm Ju. Welcome to the channel. Please like and share the video. Don't forget to sub. Now, let's talk about this list of men that have no business dating, according to the ladies. Going through this list, I'm going to address the relevant numbers. And there are some that I had to combine because they're a bit redundant. And then there are a few that I'll just address at the end. So this one makes me laugh, but I get the point of it. Maybe a guy with younger kids is still dealing with the child's mother or there's a situation ship there. Or a new father is just going to be dedicating more of his time to raising a younger kid. So a man with younger kids might not be for some women. But the reality is in life, sometimes relationships don't work. So as long as a man is working, his money is straight, he takes care of his kids and he's drama free. I don't see how having younger kids would stop a man from being able to date. If a man is in his 30s or 40s living at home with his parents with no intention or plan of moving out or buying a house or getting something on his own, then yeah, that's a problem. But there are situations where people have to move back back home in order to save money or get out of debt or eventually buy a house. But if a man isn't doing any of those things and he's just at home with his parents playing PS5. Stop it. Get some help. Then yeah, he should have some other priorities and he's probably not ready to be trying to date anybody. So I'm editing this video and just realized I skipped number three. Look, if you're living with your ex or somebody you have kids with, then you probably shouldn't be dating other people until you're out on your own. There's just no way that dating while in that situation doesn't end messy. And that's just not for men. A man shouldn't date a woman that's living with another man, ex or not. I'm going to address five, six, 23 and 28 together because they're all reasonable expectations to have for anyone that they're going to date. A mature, responsible and self-sufficient man should have a job, a bank account, a valid license, and transportation. I think that all comes with being a fully functional adult. But there are cases where someone might live in the city and might not need transportation of their own, especially if they're taking public transportation wherever they have to go. And in those cases, maybe a guy won't need a car or transportation of his own. I think this one is self-explanatory. Any man worth anything takes care of himself and takes care of his kids. And if a woman chooses to deal with a man that's already not taking care of his own existing kids, then she can expect the same thing if and when they have a kid together and their relationship doesn't work out. So she would kind of be setting herself up for failure. 9 and 22 are kind of the same to me. Men that don't respect women and men that bash women on social media. With everyone's lives being broadcast nonstop on social media these days, we all have a pretty good idea of who someone is or at least their mindset before we ever interact with them just based on the stuff that they post online. So if a woman sees a guy that doesn't respect women online and she still chooses to deal with him, then that's that's 100% on her, just like dating somebody that doesn't take care of their kids. It's kind of like what you can expect down the line. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being in a relationship and asking your partner to hold you down until your check comes in. But if a guy is out here and his finances are so bad that he's asking random women that he's talking to for loans, then he doesn't need to be dating anybody until he gets his money right. And if women are out here giving guys like that money, then they can't be surprised when they end up just taking care of them all together. I don't really know what being a mama's boy has to do with dating. I'm sure it can be really annoying if a man is immature or really dependent on his mother emotionally or something like that. But if you're telling me any man that has a close relationship with his mother shouldn't be allowed to date, that's crazy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I put 16, 17, and 18 together because any man that's working, taking care of himself and his kids legally should be respected. Whether he's loading boxes at FedEx, UPS, or anything else. As far as a temp job or being a contractor, again, I'm confused why that will stop a man from dating. The way I see it, maybe that's an entry-level opportunity that he will have to a permanent position. And lastly, truck driving is a job with the opportunity to make a lot of money. The only way I can see this being an issue is because truck drivers are on the road a lot. But so are pilots, flight stores stewardesses, traveling nurses, and none of those jobs should stop somebody from being able to date when they're free. I know this one is talking specifically about locks, but I see this being an overall hygiene issue. Keeping locks clean, keeping your nails clean, smelling good, all that type of stuff. And no one wants to date someone that's dirty or doesn't smell good or just overall has bad hygiene. Anyone that focuses on the past or only talks about what they used to do or have most likely is unsuccessful or not in a good place in life at the moment. Dating a man like this is 100% up to the 
woman because any man, no matter where he's at in life, is probably going to try to date. Pretty simple. If you're married, you probably shouldn't be trying to date until after your marriage is over if that's where it's heading. Now, I'll try to wrap this up quick, but for all the numbers I skipped. Number four, men on the DL should either not date women if that's not what they're really into, or they should just disclose up front what they're really interested in and give the woman an opportunity to make a choice. Seven, I don't know who's sagging their pants in 2024. Get a belt. Ten, I don't feel like owning a suit is 100% necessary nowadays, especially if a man knows how to dress up when he has to and do business casual. I think that's fine. Eleven, if a man is living in a hotel, he's not in a position to be trying to date and really should be working on his finances before he starts thinking about women. Thirteen, if you live in a house or an apartment, unpack your clothes, hang them up, fold them, put them where they belong. Don't be living out of suitcases, boxes, or tubs. 14. If a man can't log into anything without your help, then that means you're dealing with the older guy, and that comes with the territory. I legit have no clue what 19 or 20 means. At 25, there's no way a man's hairline should stop him from dating. So yeah, that's the list. Like I said, some of the things were really reasonable, and some I feel like were nonsense. But the moral of the story is, before we men start dating, we should have our stuff together. And if we do, then that only increases our value on the dating market. But thanks for watching. Y'all let me know in the comments. Is this list accurate or is it BS? And if you want to become a channel member, click the join button below. Please make sure you check out the next video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.